It's Kelsey, and I'm going to be showing you today how to fish crom wands, what you need, and what are the requirements, and what I highly recommend. So first, we're going to go over why crom wands are important in RuneScape, and why they're expensive in the Grand Exchange, why people use them for bossing and PvP, and what benefit they can give to you when doing combat in RuneScape. So it's a little bit difficult to explain, but I'll do my best. So when you have a Karam wand, it doesn't take two ticks. And what ticks are in the game is how long it takes to, to have something done or be something performed in the game. So for example, if I eat a shark, I'm going to have to wait a couple ticks before I can eat another shark because that's how the game works. Your character takes time to eat that shark. For example, let me put some damage on my character to show you. So I'm going to eat two sharks, which is 40 hit points completed total to heal. So, oh my gosh, what is this guy doing? Haha. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't stand in my face, dude. Ay -ay -ay. Okay, so you're going to eat one shark and then try to eat the other one as soon as possible. You have to wait a tick before it, it I guess, notifies that you're going to eat another piece of food. So let's try this again with the Karam wands. I think everyone's like, what are you doing? So you're going to eat the shark, then the Karam one. Oh my gosh, he's laughing at me. This is so embarrassing. Anyway, so you're going to eat the shark, then the Karam one. And this is what happens is that it takes away that tick. So a Karam one heals 18 HP, 18 HP, and the shark heals 20 HP. Boom. One tick completed. You don't even have to wait for the next shark um, to be eaten or the next piece of food because it, 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 there's no tick for Karam wands. Just in one tick. And that is why Karam wands are extremely useful. The fact that they heal within one tick makes them OP for PKing because that means if you're in emergency situations when PK, you can, eat, you can gain pretty much... 38 HP in one tick, which is insane, and it really saves your rear end for PKing, especially lower level PKers. Um, and for bossing, if you're a hardcore Iron Man, they're extremely important because they can save your life, and if you're a hardcore Iron Man, I suggest that you do not boss unless you do have Karam ones. Um, because there's going to be situations, for example, when you're soloing Bandos or Zami, where you need a one tick 38 HP heal and it just saves your rear end. So that's why they're very popular. That's why Iron Man used them. And I'm going to show you today what requirements you need and basically how to fish them efficiently and etc. The requirements is going to be 65 fishing in order to fish Karam wands. And to cook them, you need 30 fishing for the cooked Karam wands that you use in combat and PKing. So let's scroll down. You, there is a quest requirement, and this quest is actually quite long and tedious, but absolutely worth it. It's going to be Taiyabuiwani Village. I need to find it on my quest. Yeah, Taiyabuiwani Trio. I, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, this is RuneScape and everything in the pronunciations are insane. So, and I'm going to show you the most efficient way to get these fish. Over the things that I highly recommend for this method. For one thing is you need, you don't need it, but it helps so much. It's full graceful, something very light gear, boots of lightness, things like that. The next thing that I highly recommend is the quest cape. Hands down, the quest cape is going to give you the fastest method to get Karam wands. And that's a huge achievement, I understand that, but it can be done. And especially for an Iron Man, when you start bossing and things like that, um, you're going to need Karam wands. And the quest cape is essential on fishing, them, or fishing Karam wands efficiently. I'll do my best to show you some alternative methods, though. So let's get this started. So with your quest cape, you're, the great thing about the quest cape is that it teleports you unlimited teleports to the fairy ring. To use the fairy ring, you need to have started fairy tale part two. Now we're going to hit configure, and we're basically going to go to um, Taiyabuiwani. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say that. 
but Taibuiwani Village, and you're going to be going south. Now, when you complete the quest Taibuiwani Trio, you're going to get this vessel, and you understand that by you'll be going to get it from an old man in the quest, and you'll be get this vessel, and that's going to help you be able to fish Karam. Where am I going? Oh my gosh, Karam Wanjis. Okay, this is the bait you need for Karam Wands. Oh my lord. So. You can fish them here. They're right next to this fairy ring. You just need to walk around and go to the pond. And it's south of Taibuiwani Village. Um, so, as you can see, getting the bait is quite fast. Now, know that you will need lots of bait because the Karam wands steal the bait very often. They're, they're really annoying suckers. They'll steal your bait and therefore... For example, 236 Karamwanjis are not going to give you 236 Karamwan because the Karamwans are going to steal your bait. So you're going to get more like 100 Karamwans um, from 260, or 236 bait. That's a prop. I'm just showing that as an example. Okay? If you don't want to fish the bait, which I highly recommend, especially if you have a fishing level above... 70, I would say anything above 75, you should probably be fishing the bait because it's so much faster. However, there is another method and you can buy the bait. Um, Jagex came with an update to where the um, getting the bait is a lot more for Karam wands is faster. These are not Karam wands, these are Karam wanjis. Just want to reiterate that and this is the bait that is used in the vessel to catch Karam wands. I'm going to be showing you where you can buy this bait if you don't want to fish it. In Taibuiwani Trio Village, you're going to go south, and you're going to go, so basically southwest, and there's going to be a man called Tidechi. Gosh, man, all these words. Anyway, you're going to trade him, da 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 da, and he will sell you the Karamwanjis. So, and the great thing about this is he also sells another vessel. So if you lost your vessel from the first, from, from the quest, you can buy another one here. After completing the quest, you cannot access the stall until you've completed the quest. Also, he does sell Karamwans. So this is really great news. If you have not completed, uh, or if you have not completed all of the quests in RuneScape, you don't have your quest cape, Honestly, this is going to be the most efficient method. Hopping worlds and buying Karambwans, and then pretty much teleporting back to the bank to Castle Wars or using the Catherby um, teleport. The Catherby teleport will take you right outside Seer's Bank, which requires the hard diaries completed. However, I like using a Ring of Dueling because I get so many gems and it takes me right to the Castle Wars bank. However, that is completely preference on how you wish to bank. Now, so if you don't have the quest cape, that's what I recommend. And you're basically going to be having to walk down to Taiwoiwani Village each time, buying them and banking them. And honestly, I'm not very sure. Um, I don't think that's a great method. In fact, I feel like the quest cape is the only viable way to a very quick, um, a quick way to get Karam Wands. However, the stall sells the vessel, the Karam Dungy, and the Karam Wands. Now I'm going to show you where to fish Karam ones. So once again, we're going to take our quest cape and we're going to teleport and use the fairy ring. And we're going to be taken to, we're going to go to the DKP, the Gloam, Gloam, Gnome Glider. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh Lord. Okay. <clears throat> and there's going to be this fishing spot. This is where you fish Karam ones. So, and when I say that it's not worth fishing Karam Wands without the quest cape. I truly mean that. And I can show you why. As you can see, they're pretty quick to fish. I have 91 fishing. They don't give you that much fishing XP, but they're not bad either. So if you don't have the quest cape, this is the struggle you will be having to endure. You will buy the bait from Tai Boiwani. You have to run all the way past this log, run up north to this area and to fish them and then run back and forth while banking and there's not a bank nearby so really the quest cape is the only viable way you're going to be taking it to ckr to fish the bait teleporting to dkp on the fairy ring 
fish the Quran wands, and teleport to the closest bank method. I use Castle Wars, a lot of people use the Catherby teleport. Any close bank, if you have 99 crafting and you're a pro, you can use the crafting guild. Um, that's basically the quickest way to get Quran wands. Um, Another thing I really want to mention about this is that you do not need Quran Bonds on an Iron Man. They're not essential for bossing, they're just nice. Hardcore Iron Man, I would definitely say this is a must, so go for your quest cape. Thank you so much for watching this guide, and I hope that it really has helped you. Once again, I'll show you how easy this is. You can just teleport, and let's say you want some more bait. You can just go back to the bait fishing spot and you can sit there. Oh God, did I just click on that thing on accident? I know I'm a Legends Guild member, be quiet. Okay, and so you can just simply go back to that location and you can sit there and fish the bait for as long as you want. And this bait is now stackable. This bait used to not be stackable before the update. So this update has been very significant, especially for Iron Man. If you're a main account and you're wanting to fish Quran Bonds for money, that's great. But really, now that since this update, they've, they're have only about 700 um, GP each. That's not what I wanted. Well, oh yeah, sometimes you will get uh, shrimp. Uh, that just sometimes happens. So, but yeah, basically, that's what you're going to be doing. I hope this guide has helped you, and give it a thumbs up, and you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. Um, my CC is Cobra CC. it's C-O-B-R-A underscore C-C, and we just have a really group, a nice group of friends to talk to and hang out with. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.